Let's listen. Molly and I are both visual communicators, which means we talk very, very fast. We will use our hands and we're going to throw a lot of information at you today. In fact, actually, it's going to be mostly Molly because when she told me this, I was like, stop, hold on a second, because the questions that I'm going to ask you, I know that viewers like Tim, Don and Scott are going to want to know, too, especially like Mandy. So having said that, let's talk about keeping track of your leads on Facebook. Now, let, let me back this up a little bit because I signed up for Nimble, which is a CRM, which is really pretty powerful, especially because I do a lot of business on LinkedIn. And Ooh. I've been putting like my leads in there and all of this other stuff, but I do have friends you know, even 360 Marketing Squad, where we have our own Facebook groups. And so people find us from the events that we speak at and we funnel them into a group. And this is the part where you're like, hey, Stephanie, have you heard of dot, dot, dot? So tell them what that is. <laughs> okay. So when you are connecting with people on Facebook, and I want to let you know that this strategy that we're going to talk about today right now really only works on Facebook, but soon in the future, it will work on other platforms as well. So as we're going through this, remember the concept that we're talking about today is really important and it's something that you can do on paper, even if you don't use this tool. This tool that I'm gonna show you though is just gonna speed the process up, help you so much, it is going to blow your mind. And I will say, here's what the problem is, like Stephanie just mentioned, is that when you're building connections, oftentimes you aren't actually following up with those connections. And I've been doing some research on this recently and I saw a study that said that 82% of people want to be followed up with right away. So my question for you is, if you did a post on Facebook where you were saying like, hey, I'm gonna do an upcoming training in a few hours, do you want access? And a hundred people commented below that post, would you be able to follow up with all 82 of those, or with 82 of those people at least? Most of you probably wouldn't actually follow up with every single one of them, especially if it's not just on one post, but it's people who have commented or engaged or liked things all over on your personal profile, on your business page and in your group. So I'm gonna show you a tool today that's gonna to help you to actually track those people, ah! keep them organized, it's connected to Facebook, you can add pain points to what questions they've asked. If they've requested a specific resource, you can ask about the resource. If you or your team member sends them a message, it's tracked inside this CRM. Okay, pause, 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 pause. This is the part where, see, yeah, I know. This is why I love you. <laughs> so, so my good friend, Chef Claudia Sandoval, which piece, by the way, Claudia, we were just talking about you. Uh, Cause Molly is able to do her makeup in like three minutes. And I was like, the only other person I know how to do that is Claudia. So Claudia was asking, <laughs> what is a CRM? And so a CRM is your client relationship management tool. And yeah. it's a way for keeping notes, kind of like what Molly just said of who your leads are, what their pain points are and knowing when to follow up. So having said that, Molly, I'm going to put you back on the screen. And then if you want to share your screen, let me know. Cool. Yeah. And I'm going to show you this also, this is left over from an event. So when I go to events, I carry this little bag with me and I collect business cards. <laughs> <So> <laughs> and then I have these business cards. So I just approved to you this, that this works offline. I have these business cards. And what I do is I say, if someone wants my video content planner to give me their business card, this is like when I speak, I say, if they want to book a call, Look, they just fold the business card in half to let me know that they want to book a call. So this you can. This, oh, you are so smart. OK, you told me about this um, when we did. What was it? We did a live oh, yeah, streaming conference. Thing. What was Last it? it was yeah. Like, oh, yes, social time. Stephanie. And yeah. I uh, and so, yeah, Molly does that magic trick, that magic bag. And I was like, I thought that was so smart because you could put in your business card if you just want this. And then if you want to book a call, then you fold it in half. You guys, you're already learning. <laughs> so easy. Okay, now we're going to take it like a complete step further. So I am actually going to share my screen and I am going to share. I'm going to do this in a group first. And I want you to know that this works across all, um, all places on Facebook. So anywhere that someone you can engage with someone on Facebook, it will work there. And this tool was created by my dear friend and client, Jenna Larson and her partner, Nate, because Jenna was running into this same exact problem and her clients were having this issue. So she just decided to reach out to somebody and do it. 
<laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna go to an application window. So this may look a little, no, I'm gonna bring you into the tab. Let's do the okay. tab. Okay, here we go. Ready? So can you see it on the screen now? I do, okay. I'm about to bring it up right now. Okay, Amanda Joe, I see you. Okay, I know, so, okay. one second, let me take out the crop screen. There you go, better. Hmm. Okay, so this is my Facebook group. Now let's look, if I scroll down here, you'll see this is a post that I did that said, hey, I'm gonna do a little holiday gift for you, ask me anything and I'll be back to answer these. Now underneath this post, there's 31 comments here. So I've been going through and doing a couple of replies. Really, I'm gonna do a Facebook Live about this and I wanna make sure that I can easily track the people who had questions. So watch what I'm gonna do. The top, I'm gonna go back up to the top. I'm gonna click on this little Chrome extension right here up at the very top. I click on oh, it. One second. Ready? Let me take this oh, off so they could see it. Go for Shoot. it. Try it. Can you still see it now or no? I think I might need to show you. No, it'll, yeah. It only shows me the Facebook group, yeah, but go yeah. ahead. Keep going. Well, let me, I think I want to make sure that I can show, um, well, no, you'll be able to tell. Just trust yeah. me. There's a Chrome extension on the top of the screen. Okay. As I scroll down, do you see all of these little guys <gasps> that are here on the screen? What? Is something yeah, yeah. So like Autumn is a member of our glam program and the stage of business that she's in is already there. Okay. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm so excited. I want to like close my office door because I feel like I want to scream right now. <laughs> it's Shut so up. good. It is so good. So Okay, look, even Claudia is freaking out. Okay, it gets even better. Claudia, have you not seen this before? I feel like I, I just need to like scream it from the rooftops. So it gets even better. Watch, I'm gonna extend these comments. And I don't know if Jenna's here because I told her I was doing the show, but okay. I'm gonna extend these comments and you can see there's different, oh, I haven't set a stage for Damon. What the heck? He's in. Okay, wait, oh, oh, you're so fast. <laughs> so you guys notice how she has different stages in her funnels of where clients are. And then she has them tagged by the different um, programs that they're in, right? Because yeah. you always have, you so always have to filter out potential clients. Go well, for let's it. Let's talk about those stages right now. So what we have, and I actually already pulled, am I doing a Chrome tab? Oh, shoot, I am. I'm going to um, bring you to a different screen really quickly. Look at this because right. so we actually have this client journey that we lead people through. And this is what we teach in our programs, which I know, Stephanie, you have, you have some really cool <laughs> So the client <laughs> journey, if we're going to bring this up on the screen, which hopefully Let's do it. Look at how you can see my spreadsheets. This is like what we create. It's all. <laughs> I love the purple. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. But when you're, when you're connecting with people, you want to recognize that there is a specific client journey that your ideal clients are moving through. Whether you're using a bag of business cards, whether you're using Facebook, LinkedIn, all of that. And what you can do here is you can actually set the stages of where they're at in your journey. And so if you want to do a client journey audit, take a screenshot of this because there's going to be an awareness entry point. So that could be your live videos. It could be your YouTube videos. It could be a blog post from there. And it could be just even talking to people in a Facebook group, right? From there, at some point, you want to capture their information in a lead capture tool with an opt-in form, going to a thank you page, an email nurture, 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 nurture sequence. <laughs> Messenger SMS follow up, and then eventually we want them to get to a sales page, right? What's really cool is we can go from entry point straight to sales page at times as well. So this is a really awesome way to do it, but we want to make sure that we have the whole thing fleshed out. And what we were running into, which Stephanie, I love talking to you about this stuff because you and I do things a little differently, and we both get awesome results in the different ways that we do it. So you're like so specific about the exact um, higher level client that you're speaking to, which I love so much, where sometimes it's like, wait a minute, you're not doing a weekly show? And you're like, no, <laughs> you're like it. I was I'm like, like oh, I have time for that. <laughs> right, so there's different ways that you can do this. But eventually with both of us, we're having conversations with human beings and we're moving them through this type of a, a journey, right? And then they get to the point where they actually purchase, yay! And that, that's when they're getting the biggest impact as well. Then there's some sort of welcome sequence and referrals and retention. And then they move back into the awareness point and they can just keep doing this whole thing again and again, right? Mm -hmm. What happens is a lot of times people really focus on that visibility piece and so they have this visibility, but they're not actually 
deepening the relationship and connecting with those people. And so what I like to say, it's like when they get into this part, they just leave them floating out into the wind. And really, it's like you spilt champagne all over the floor. <laughs> right? And I actually, I said this to my team, because we now are at the point where we have a community team that's out there and making sure that our community is supported. And I said to my team, I was like, I'm so glad that you're here, because really, I am just spilling champagne all over the floor. I, I, I don't have the ability to actually talk to everyone until a couple months ago when I put it all together in this system that we're going to go through. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. Let's pause real quick. Let's pause real quick. I love, I love the fact that you use the champagne metaphor, because not only like is someone like they're celebrating and they're spilling it all over the floor, but no one can really go up to you because they might slip and fall through the cracks. Yes. And so that's why, that's why you want to have this system. And that's why for those of you that are watching, <laughs> Claudia says no spilling the champagne. I totally agree with you. Um, for those of you that are watching right now, I know, I know that you have friends that are business owners, entrepreneurs, authors, speakers, all of that. Please invite them over to this because this is a game changer, especially now that we know that there's like Facebook live shopping, there's Facebook groups, you could do Facebook paid online events. This is something that you definitely want to pay attention to. So we're about 16 minutes in. Invite your friends, okay? Go for it, girl. <laughs> Someone said to me on Clubhouse the other day, she said, I am so glad to be talking. Jenna and I were doing a, a training together, and she said, I'm so glad to be talking to you because I've got champagne everywhere. It is getting sticky, and there are ants. <laughs> it's true. So, I love it. I love it. I love it. This client journey. Now, I want you to recognize, I'm going to go back to our go Facebook group. And the way that I've set this up, so if you don't have an actual like system for this, the tool is hard to use. So you want to make sure that you're you're using a system like that that I showed you with the client journey. Mm -hmm. So what happens here when we go in? I'm gonna um, do, 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 do. I'm gonna find somebody that maybe has not actually been added yet. So if oh, and the champagne. Oh, there's a <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a viral gift now? I mean, that's my goal. My goal is that this will be viral in time for New Year's. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. So when someone has not actually been added to your system, what will happen is there will be a little plus sign on this and you can actually add them into the system. So let me, oh, you know what I'm going to do, Stephanie? Go for it. I'm going to do something really cool. So I'm going to go to your Facebook page. I was curious because we already have like, Kelly, Kelly Dash, I, I, I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, but she's saying like, I have a non-existent sales funnel. Is this something that you could help me with? And I was like, Molly, is this something that you could go to my page because you're an amazing guest and yes. categorize so, that? Before I show you this, I want to tell you that you have to make sure you use this tool for good and not for evil. So you're not out there like poaching friends. You are here like you know, looking to serve, looking to support. You're not like, I'm not going into Stephanie's group and like pulling all of her clients out of her group. So you want to be make sure you're being ethically responsible. Otherwise, your business will fail. Just very true. What comes around goes okay. around. Yeah. So here's a perfect example. So on this live video, we are live right now. Mike, I can see you're not in our system yet. So watch this. Mike is amazing, right? Mike we is love amazing. What Mike we does Mike. over at your pulse. So I'm actually gonna <laughs> I'm gonna click add to group track and now watch this. There's another level on our stages that I didn't actually set here yet, which is power partner. So I can add Mike in as a power partner and what that does is it tells my team because my team has access to a separate CRM that goes with this. It tells my team, hey, Mike and I are, are friends. Like we're gonna maybe be talking to him in a different way than we'd be talking to somebody that I, uh, that I don't already have kind of a power partner relationship with. Mm -hmm. and track him in a different way same Very thing true. yeah so from and here PS, by the way if you are not connected to the mike alton right with great power <laughs> comes great responsibility this man is pretty much connected to everyone so if i were you i would talk to him and get to know the guard pulse so good. <laughs> can you see the pop up on my screen right now i could see the notifications yes no, well, can you see there are notifications, but can you see this? Like, I don't think you can see it. The full oh, I, I could see the I could see the new member connected all the stages. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yep, that's what I meant. Thank you. And okay. it, it's so clever too because it looks like my my thumbnail is pointing to something. It's like, oh my gosh, right? That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just working perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to use my tippy example because he's new in here. And this is like, I'm not sharing any private Perfect information. Perfect example. Yeah. So you can see here, he doesn't have any tags yet because we just added him in. If I wanted to save this post and his comment inside the CRM, all I do is <gasps> Facebook, boop. And now it's saved to his profile inside our separate CRM. Oh, shut up. Okay, yeah. time out, time out, time out. Okay, this is different from Nimble because Nimble for me is more like saving the conversations in emails. But as you know, because of social media, you're always talking to people. There's probably not a day that doesn't go by that you're not talking to people on social media, especially Facebook. So awesome, awesome. It's gonna get even cooler. Are you ready? So yes. if I had Mike's email, or if Mike, when you joined our Facebook group, if you gave your email inside the Facebook group and you answered one of the questions, it would actually automatically add your email here. I can input your phone number if I have your phone number. And the email is connected inside group track without any other tools. It's connected to ConvertKit. So, so no I need to have a group funnels is basically what yeah, you're saying. That's so I've loved group funnels up until now, and Arnie is a good friend, and this just takes group funnels one step further. So if you're not looking for, a, I mean, really, if you're not looking for a full CRM group track, I mean, group funnels is like an easy way to get started, but this is going to do what group funnels does times It's on another level. Yeah, it's it's a whole nother level. And I don't know about you guys, but my, my word for the year, for the last three years, has always been evolve. I'm always going to evolve in my business. And that also means evolving in tools, right? So this yeah. is it. I love it. So good. So here, watch this. Are you ready? Let's say yes. that Mike had asked for, and Mike, I hope you're okay that I'm like making you the star of the show. <laughs> let's say that Mike had Mike asked. Mike is always the star of the show. <laughs> you had asked, oh, let's say you scheduled a post with Agora Pulse that's like, hey, let us know if you want access to a training that Molly's going to do about how she hit 300K in the month of November without a launch. Would you yes. want that? Let us know yes. below. When you do that, check it out. We called that training organic retargeting. So I have organic retargeting number one. I click Wait, on that. Okay, I don't, okay, there it is. Got it. Oh, could I you see not see that? Okay, I there was a now. whole list of things. So here, now it's my team can send this and say, hi, I'm a member of Molly's team and I saw you asked for more information about her organic retargeting method. She's doing a training soon, blah, blah, blah. May I send the info here? I do this, Mike, I'm gonna send it to you just to like show you what happens. I hit send snippet. It pops up another little thing right here, sends you the message inside Messenger. It says success. The message has been sent and logged to our activity feed. Are you ready? That is it so cool tracks the message right here wait can, can you scroll up did i just see a convert kit this integrates with convert kit yeah so i can put if i want to send watch this um i want to send him let's say he asked for a call mike yeah. if i had your email here i could just click this button and it would send you an email saying hey <gasps> stop stop oh my god that's Are you real. for real right now? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> legit, you guys. Don's freaking out. Mike's freaking out. Claudia's like, what the hell is this thing called again? It's called Group Track. G R U P T R A C K. Group Track CRM. And so, and when, they, when they first created it, they created it so that it would work inside groups, but I've been. I don't know if Jenna's here, but I've been working with Jenna from the beginning of putting the whole thing together, like from idea till now. Smart. And I mean, and so she, like, the bless Jenna and Nate, because I'm like, I think I broke it. I think, what about this? Like, can you make it do this? And they're like, Nate is working his tail off just to make it more and more user friendly. So now they've adjusted it that it's not only focused on groups, it works across the whole platform. And so brands can use this, right? So if someone's in like a Facebook group and they're saying like, hey, what's your recommendation for a social media scheduling tool? Someone from a company can be like, oh, hey, if you wanna learn more and then they could do this yes. and then convert Wait, no, it wouldn't get the convert kit because it's not their group, right? Well, it, it would only if you have their email address already. Got so it. the reason that we're, we're getting email addresses already is because they're putting the email inside when they join our group. So if you don't have their email address already, that wouldn't necessarily work. But if you have their email address already, that will work. And you can Got ask it. them. Like we have a one other template. Let me see if I can find. If I and this is only for Facebook, right? It's not for LinkedIn or Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Correct. 
Facebook. So right now it's only for Facebook, but they are going to be building it out so that it works like, you know, the Instagram um, API just opened. So they are going to be building it out to other things as well. <gasps> like amazing. Say it again. Say it again. Hold up. What's what just what's about to happen? <laughs> Instagram, the API on Instagram opened up. So they are going to be adding it to Instagram, LinkedIn, like other platforms like that. This like, I'm speechless. My oh, heart, God. my heart is racing. Amy Iram is dropping fire emojis. All right, cool. What else <laughs> you got? So what cool. else you got? Okay. So then now we've got all these messenger snippets in here. Check this out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Global yes. tag nets. So right now we have a whole team of community support and our community support team at the Prepared Performer is here to make sure that you're actually getting your questions answered, that you're getting the support that you need. If that ends up being that one of our programs is a good fit for you, then we're lovingly letting you know that you can book a call or that you can move into one of our programs, right? This isn't about like a hard, creepy sale. This is about really supporting. Yeah. And so are you ready? Oh my yeah. gosh. Here we have these tag sets. So what this has done has allowed me to bring my team into the conversation without having to give my personal Facebook login to anybody else. So many people do that and it's putting your profile in danger. It's also, I think, putting your relationships in danger because I've had it happen, like it's happened on LinkedIn to me where someone's like, hey, so great to connect with you on LinkedIn. I'd love to know more about what you offer in your business. And I'm like, dude, we just spent two days together at an event, like sitting next to each other the entire time. <laughs> like recently it happened. We obviously didn't just spend two days together at an event, but it was somebody that I had spent a whole bunch of time with in February. And I took a screenshot of it and I sent it to a mutual friend. And I was like, there's no way he really sent me this message, right? Yeah. So I wrote back and I said, hey, first of all, happy birthday, because I knew that it was this person's birthday. And then I said, and I just need to know, like, is this really you? Yeah. <laughs> and I finally, that. this yep. person said, nope, it's not. It's his VA. And <laughs> I was like, that's weird. <laughs> so this allows you to, to connect without having to have someone take over your personal account. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. And so, so here's one of the ways that we do that is with this active follow-up tag. If mm -hmm. someone on my team is already in conversation with someone, they just click active molly and then everybody knows that person is in an active conversation with that person right now oh i love that yes yes okay <laughs> this is so good i can't believe you've been sitting on this okay i need to have like standing monthly calls with you and just like what is happening in your world what's I new know. what's good this is and brilliant we've really been like fine-tuning the system so finally just this week uh, if you're like a power user of this tool, uh, what they did for me is they created the ability for me to create templates. So all of our GLAM members, I literally was like, here's the code. And they imported my entire template library into their group track. So now, like for you, Stephanie, we have a new client who just came on who was spending $100,000 a month in Facebook ads. Yeah. And they were doing like a little better than breaking even, but it was just barely covering their other expenses. And what we realized is their organic was really just not in place. So their Facebook group had 50,000 people in it, but again, champagne all over the floor. So I'm including group track in my consulting package for them. And I'm going to help them set group track up for their whole entire team. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Okay. So this is what I have to say is that like even for me as a live streamer, people come and like they'll comment on the show and they'll say certain things. They're like, hey, like what is this thing that you're 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 sharing right now? If I had like my VA on the other end who'd be like, oh, you asked about this, blah, blah, blah. And then it could be like a real message versus like a bot, yep. right? Exactly. And they can, and so what we suggest that you do is you actually comment below. Oh, I was trying to open this in here. Let me log oh, you're in. You're good. Um, we, you can actually comment, reply to their comment and say, hey, this is, Jordan from Molly's team, I'm sending you a private message. Yeah. Okay, and pause so real it's quick. A thing, yeah. Um, Claudia is asking, wait, could you show how you could follow up with someone without their email? How would you send them to capture their email? So I think yep. if I'm following this correctly, just to just to show that I'm a good student, <laughs> you <laughs> you had sent a message by using one of the tags. And so the follow-up message that you did for Mike went into his Facebook Messenger and then the active person on your team, on the customer support team, can follow through on that conversation 
and then just naturally ask for an email. Basically. Yeah, and usually okay. I, I wouldn't be the first one to send the message. They would be the first one to send the message. So I did that just because I was showing you, Mike. But usually what happens is there'll be a post that's like, I'll do a send actually, a DM. Yeah, the, let me show you this. Hold okay. the, so I'm going to show you it in action. So this is my, and then we'll come back just so you know real quick. This is the whole dashboard on the other side. Yeah. So like all the contacts are now in this CRM. Mike is right here. I can click to go through to his actual profile inside the CRM. That's so sick. Definitely from Facebook. And if I want to add a note for my team to see, I can actually go here and I can say, Mike is the best. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I can also add a follow-up task. Oh, where do I do that? Oh, right here. Follow-up task. Add a task. Talk to Mike when to do it tomorrow and so does that task stay in group track or can you yep. funnel it into um well you can have it send you an email you can yeah. have it send you an sms which is my favorite way to do it because that's it actually it really smart uh-huh yeah. and then i'm sure there's probably other ways you could have some sort of like zap to have it do other things but it doesn't like put it into a sauna or anything but here it i mean that's pretty good and so That's I can go like this, brilliant. and now it'll send me a, te a text message. <laughs> a text message next time that that happens. Very cool. And Very. There's cool. a follow-up task section. I mainly am using it to like, you know, uh, show people how to use it. But yeah, yeah. so no, that's pretty, brilliant. Pretty awesome. Okay, now to answer that question for Claudio, if I go here. On my all of all of the best people are on this live right now. You've got like Amy, Claudia, Mike, Yay. Deb, Tim. Rodney is new. Rodney has actually yeah. asked a question. Molly's okay. question was, how has this in real life changed your lead flow, qual quantity okay. and conversion? So I think he's coming in late into the show. Yeah. So I'm going to show you for reels. This helped us to do 300K in sales in November without any real launch. <laughs> Pay oh, attention. Sorry. What? Yeah, like, <laughs> what are you talking about? So I'm going to show you here. And really, this came from me. I'm scrolling down to find the post I want to show you. But this came from me um, realizing, like, okay, <laughs> I am. so many people are doing these huge, big events. And I just was feeling like, I don't really want to do this crazy event, uh, which we, us we usually do an event in November. And I was going to do it all online. And I was just feeling like, it's. I've got the kids here. I've got, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So yeah. I decided to trust my gut and not do it. And we did what we call the spaghetti launch was I did a mini three day challenge on how to repurpose your videos. And from there I sold the replay of that challenge for $27 on the third day. Some of you may have been there the third day. I said, okay, this is going to be available till Sunday. I'm going to take it down. But if you want it forever today, you can get it for only $27 at the founding member rate. And I'll add some more content as we go. And, uh, we had, 140 people buy that week. And then from there, because we have these systems in place, we followed up with people and we ended up doing one more training that was more showing you what we do in our glam program. And then yeah. our team followed up and we did 136 K in just that week. She won. She won the internet. Okay. She won Facebook well, friends. <laughs> the bigger thing is that I was able to support those people who maybe have been kind of waiting for me to follow up with them. Yeah. 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 So I mean, for real. So this is the, a, an example of a post. So I was, I spoke at traffic and conversion, oh, mm -hmm. which was so fun, like in real life. And so I said, whoa, all the questions pouring in after our session. And this is a great way to take an event that you do in person and then, or like a, a summit and then transition it into a way for you to, to really, connect with people. Yeah. So I, you know, all this. And then I said, if you want info so you can join us, just let us know below. So we had all these comments here. Yeah. And watch what happens here. If we go to these comments and stop me if I'm like going too fast. No, 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 no. You're, you're totally cool. Okay. So Jordan is on our team. Oh, I should click group track. Oh, dang. Hold on. I need to bring this up. I'm gonna move. No, you're fine. 
Let me, let me reset real quick. So for those yeah. of you that are just tuning in, we're talking about how you can keep track of your leads on Facebook, whether they're coming from your Facebook business page, or let's say you're going live in your Facebook group, your profile, or things that I've even done where I've done like a virtual keynote in a company's you know, Facebook group. Yeah. You could still use something like this, which I think is just so brilliant. And if you have team members, VAs, executive assistants, customer support team, you could utilize this tool to never lose a lead again. And one question that we had here, uh, someone had mentioned, like, if you're a person of, if you're a team of one, how difficult or how easy is this to use? Is it just a matter of planning in advance your stages? Yeah, and it's, templates? it's honestly super easy to use if you're a team of one. The only reason we got to the point where I'm having team members help me is because we have so many comments coming in. So if you are getting 200 comments on a, on every post that you do, honestly, you probably should hire someone. <laughs> but if you're going you know, make some sales and hire someone. But if you're getting 5 to 10 to 50, you know, every once in a while you get 100 comments, you can do it on your own, no problem. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. And I would prioritize this over... Honestly, like we love Facebook ads, we love messenger bots, but if you're not talking to the actual human beings that are in right in front of your face, you're spending your time in the wrong place. Yeah. Here's the, here's the thing that I loved about you is that when you were even, it's not just the tags, it looks like you could also put in notes. So you could write down like pain points and challenges because one thing that I like to focus on when bringing on new clients is what's their communication style? Are they visual learners? Because if so, then I'm going to send you a video. If they are kinesthetic, I'm going to give you a worksheet or some like a checklist that they could work off of, which I think is going to be super helpful. Totally. So I'm <laughs> and I'm, reali I'm realizing oh that there are people we missed. So like, Melody commented a week ago, it's been weird because we built all of this. And then I was like, okay, team, take two weeks off for Christmas. Then I'm like, oh my gosh, we still have all those people. Like there's Christmas champagne that we've forgotten about. There you so, go. There, there you go. go. So let, let me give you the example. Like here is, um, so Tim, Nancy, and Jordan are all on my team. So like, let's look at Tim's right here. Um, so Tim said, I've got you covered, sending you a direct message now, right? And then you can see here, it says requested resource. Now, if I click on this person, it will tell me if they're in an active conversation with Tim, which the, Tracy is. So there you Very can see cool. sent the organic retargeting. They're in an active conversation. And if I wanted to, I could actually come in here and I could add into our global tag section. We can add what type of a business they have. Mm -hmm. um, if they were tagged in a post, I can, t if I, oh no, oh my gosh, because it'll tag people in posts. Also, I'm going to show Wait. you that in a moment. Yeah, you're going to freak out. Okay, like, I'm like, I'm like, my brain can only hold so much. Yeah. I'm like, I am going, P.S. by the way, if, you're if your brain is just like, wow, like mine right now, it's okay. We always transcribe Lights Camera Live and turn it into an epic blog post every single time Molly's on the show. I'm like here consciously aware, but also like, taking notes in my brain too. <laughs> it's amazing. So um, just remember, this is also like a parfait. Yes. It's a lovely parfait. You just add layer after layer while you're drinking your champagne, you are making a parfait. <laughs> so, it's Love so it. nice. So for the pain points, we have our main pillars in Glam. You can't actually see them, but there's a little drop down menu here, which is revenue, visibility, systems, impact, and mindset are the main things that we focus on. And then we added in time, team, and accountability. So Very let's say cool. I knew this person needed accountability. I can just click that and add the pain point right there. Super awesome, I right? I love the pain points that you put down there. So revenue, visibility, systems, impact. Yeah, those are usually That's what right. clients will come to you for, right? And the more you can streamline it like that and don't make it haphazard, the easier it is for you to be able to bring on team when you get to that point. Very cool. And we also have, in addition to the stages of business, we have client tags. So if they've ever purchased a workshop, if they're in Glam, if they're in Camera Confidence, Messenger Automation Academy, if they're a private client, if they've done a bot workshop, content workshop, like any of these things, we can tag them based on whether or not they've made a purchase from us too. This is brilliant. And so this, this doesn't interact with any other sales CRM tools, correct? Um, as of right now, it interacts, I believe, with Streak, which is a oh, sales CRM. The Gmail because Streak? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because Jenna 
who created this, she had a program on how to use Streak before, and now she's moved it over to Facebook. So, um, so she cool. has a program on Streak too. So it, it will connect to Streak. It connects, I think, with Kartra, ConvertKit, and a few others. And there's more coming. So it's like awesome. This so is good. brilliant. Hey, you Yay. know, if you guys absolutely love this, can you please show Molly some love? Give her some heart emojis because <laughs> she is dropping fire right now, which is why I'm always like, when Molly is here, damn. <laughs> I'm just like, get it, girl. Get it. <laughs> and I know I'm going so fast because I know, Stephanie, you can like keep up with my crazy brain. But for sure, just know it's a parfait. I'm sharing as much as I can. Uh, I have a friend who's virtually getting married at noon in 20 minutes. So <laughs> I'm going to get as much as I can eat before I attend Ron Reich's wedding on Zoom. Okay. Um, so another, let me, okay, this is the other thing. If I'm in the all contact section, so what I did is there was a bunch of people who came into our Facebook group yesterday and I realized I hadn't, Jordan and I were, he usually welcomes them in, but I was like, take two weeks off. And then we weren't, we didn't like communicate what was happening over the break. So I went in and I added, we had 70 people waiting to get in. So I added them in yesterday. And what yeah. I did is I created a tag that was needs new group follow-up. So I can filter this by the tag needs new group follow-up because the a really important thing to remember is that as people are coming in, we have strategies that we have created behind the scenes so that everything is being strategic. If this yeah. tool is um, powerful, but you've got to have a strategy behind it, right? Yeah. So I did this. Now, are you ready? Stephanie, like, are I'm you ready. ready? I'm like, I'm like, what's going to happen? It's like a magic trick. I'm so excited. Okay. I go to bulk actions. One of the bulk actions is tag members in a Facebook comment. Okay. So I click this. You're going to put the permalink in there? You can put the permalink. So I already did this yesterday, so I'm not actually going to do it for these people. But I created the, per I put the permalink here. And then I put text here that was like, hey, welcome to our group. Um, you know, we'll be following up with you for the information you requested in just a little bit. So watch. If you go to my Facebook group and then you just hit process and check this out. According to our records, you have used this feature to tag 32 contacts in the last 24 hours. Please be aware that Facebook may impose penalties on your account if you tag too many people too often. They've like fully got our back. That's awesome. So they're making sure that you're not going to lose your profile or any of that not stuff. not abusing the system or being like, oh, I tagged 500 people. Group track got me in trouble. No, it's because you tagged 500 people. Don't be a weirdo. Like, take it easy, yo. But so, so, so hold on a second. You... That that Facebook post permalink you put in the link to that post, and then it said post comment. So did you comment on every single comment with a specific response? Is that what that was? Wait a minute! I did it yesterday, and I checked it this morning, and the comment was here, and the comment's like gone now. That's a weird one. Maybe it's in a okay, different group. It. No, no, it was this comment. I looked at it this morning. I don't know what happened. Okay, but let me, let me, uh, Facebook is so kooky. I'm going to show you right now. We're going to do it live. Okay. Okay. Mike, we're going to use you again as our little, <laughs> as our little test feature. So watch this. I have a bookmark on my computer that has all of my top performing Facebook posts. And one of them is, I'm going to go to my top posts and it is Molly owns Facebook. So Frank, my nine year old, when he was like, I think maybe six, six or seven. He said, oh, it was last year. He was eight. He said to his teacher, or his teacher said, what does your mom do for work? And Frank said, I think she owns Facebook. So <laughs> That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Right? So what I've been doing is I've been going back to this post every once in a while, and I comment on it, which then wakes it up. So when I first started commenting on this randomly, it had about 350 likes. It's at 447 likes just because I keep going and waking it up. Because you keep again. bringing it back to life. That's yeah. brilliant. So funny. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab the permalink from this post. Okay. And then I'm going to go back into group track. And I'm going to pull up. I'm going to filter this by, um, I'm going to go to all contacts. And I'm just going to tag. I'm going to do this with Mike again. So just say. So. <laughs> oh, Mike, he's like, what is <laughs> happening to my like, Facebook oh, yeah. right now? <laughs> I know. 
So I'm gonna bring Mike Alton in, right? And then I'm gonna bulk action, which is tag members in a Facebook comment. Okay. And I'm gonna put the permalink here. Let's see, yeah, okay. I put the permalink, so you can see I've used this. I don't know if you see the drop down there, but I've used this in the yeah. past for the 300 video, um, 300K video that I did for yeah. the pre-show link and the schedule that scheduled post link. When people on my personal profile said they wanted information, it's not like a bot where I can send a broadcast, but I can tag them all with what they requested inside group track. And then I can go to the Facebook post and tag them all using group track saying, hey, here's what you requested. A reminder, the show's starting in five minutes because as Stephanie says, if they don't <gasps> know, they don't show. I'm it's just, like what this this is everything like, <laughs> this is everything seriously like seriously i'm like do you really have to go to this wedding no i'm just kidding you can yeah, know, right? <laughs> okay so here if we're and also you can see even for like my clients for glam members they get a sweatshirt when they join and we have a sweatshirt order post so i yeah. saved the sweatshirt order post as one here that i could go in and tag people in so you can save it for the future that's smart but so what I mean, that comment text thing, what is that? Okay, so watch. Here I'm going to say, hi, this is the post I was talking about. I'm going to remove the hi because that looks like it's a little wait, too Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. I am just now, it's all slowly coming together in my brain right now. So are you saying that it's going to go to that post, you're going to tag Mike, and it's going to say that message? Yep. Watch. So I'm doing, hey, this is the post I was talking about. Mike's tagged. You could tag a bunch of people, though. Just be careful how many people you tag. And then I'm going to process it. Ready? Yep. It pulls up a little window on the side. Uh-huh pulls up that little window over there. That means it's working. And then it'll come back and it'll say, it's been processed. We recommend you go check the post to confirm. So now I'm gonna go to the post. Is anyone else holding their breath? I feel like I've been holding my breath for like <laughs> Like for reals. Okay, so now I scroll down to the bottom here. Y'all have seen me. I've not been like writing on that post on my phone. I like, look, dude. <gasps> Okay. Oh my God. That is so cool. What? I mean, fell off my chair. Yes. Okay. Okay. People are interested in right now. I need you to tell them what your affiliate link is. Yeah, totally. Then, so I'll put it in the chat. It's molly.live slash awesome. Molly.live. What is it? Molly.live slash awesome because it's so awesome. That's that's for the group track? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which is like there it is. Me. I'm putting it over yeah. here for you guys. Do you see that? Oh I my just put gosh. it as an overlay so they could see it. Because you guys know that she's absolutely amazing. Let's actually make the background as red. No, that's too bright. Let's do this black. I mean, and then it's amazing. And I'm super happy to answer questions. Jenna has an amazing Facebook group also. We've been really dialing in the systems and it's been so fun. Oh my gosh. It's brilliant. Okay, so here's a question that we already have right now, Molly. Um, okay. This is coming from Deb Mitchell who's asking, and this doesn't void the Facebook yeah. rules. So. Yeah. No, it's not avoiding, it's not doing anything with Facebook rules because everything is public facing. So it's not, um, it's not scraping any information that's not already public. It's taking information that people are putting out there publicly. And it's basically doing what you would do as a human. And then it's doing it a little faster. So it's not like a messenger bot where it's sending a mass broadcast. It's taking human activities that work because the strategy works. And then it's just automating the process so it can be a little faster. Gosh, you guys are so good. It. Yes. Okay, I need to like not have you be in a pip so let's do this let's do I can stop screen. Yeah, no you're good you're good actually let's go back to duel yay <laughs> okay so you guys she only has a couple minutes left so you better ask these questions now molly i know that your team is on vacation but by all means use your group track and follow up with people because you have done so much value for me i know that my team and i especially on the captivate stuff on the nlp side so many people are asking 
right? And so I usually have them book a call, but this is really cool to have it where if they're reaching out to me on Facebook, if that's their preferred method of reaching out, then we could track them in those conversations too. So, and yes. okay, Stephanie, I want you to come talk about NLP stuff because imagine if you're doing NLP stuff with Stephanie, imagine if you can use that languaging in your snippets. That's exactly what I was thinking. So, for like the captivators that are watching, when you were saying like the pain points in my mind from an NLP perspective, I was like, what's their communication styles? What mm-hmm. are the limiting beliefs that there's that they're telling you when they're pouring yeah. out their soul? What what are the limiting decisions and all of that stuff as far as like, well, what what's their decision making strategy? How many times do they have to reach out to you <laughs> to finally make a decision and just know like, oh, well, this person is talking to Stephanie. She's already booked a call. This is what needs yeah. to happen next. This is like crazy here's um here's a question from tuano designs can we expand and reach out to our customers on etsy that's a good one really good question that i hadn't thought about which i love so much i used to have a crazy etsy like knitting and crocheting business i make handmade felt so i love etsy yeah so what you can do is if you are filtering filtering people from etsy let's say to a facebook group like let's say in your etsy description you have a facebook group and you have the questions like one of your questions when they enter the group could say, hey, we want to celebrate your Etsy store. Give us the link for your Etsy store, right? Or and that's not if you're necessarily only working with people who have stores. But um, there could be some way that if they're giving you their name on Facebook and then it's connected to their name on Etsy, you can kind of combine the two together by referencing the other thing or saying like, hey, join my Facebook group. We have a training yeah. on that. No, that makes sense because for Tuano Designs, I know he does a lot of Star Wars replicas with okay. this 3D printer. And so cool. I know that there's a really great tool for that. Here's a question from our good friend, Amy Iram. How far back does this tool access posts? I need to go back to all of my Facebook lives. I think any permalink, right? Yep, totally. So Amy, what we do is we actually, we have a thing we call star tasks that we teach in Glam. I have a little, it's on the other side of the room, but we have this little laminated sheet that go, goes through your star tasks. And one of the things that you do is first thing in the morning, you wake up your old posts. And so you could do that by t- what we've done is we've taken all of our top performing videos and we have all of our Facebook lives in a spreadsheet. And then I've taken those links and I put them into a bookmark. So on my computer at any time, I know I can go back to those live videos. You can literally though, just go to your business page, click on the videos tab, open each video yep. and add people in. Oh my gosh, wait, I need to show you one more thing. Can I show you something else? Yes. It's yes. Okay. It's going to blow your mind. I'm like, okay. I know Michael's like, my, my question just popped up. Oh, hold sure. I'm, I'm, hold, hold for anticipation. Okay, so no, Michael's no, question, question is, how much yeah. time did this take to set up? Okay, so you do have to take a little time to get it started in the beginning. But here's the thing. As you saw, not everybody was tagged in a specific stage on ours. So just what we've gotten into the habit of, and I have a whole document that I've written out for our team and for our clients, that this is what you do every morning. You take 20 minutes to decide which playground you're going to play in. So for us, that awareness piece, we have lots of different playgrounds. We have a Facebook live playground. We have a Facebook group playground. We have those ladder posts, which are the posts where I'm asking people to comment below. That's a playground. Decide on your playground. And then each person that you add in, just make sure you're being systematic about it and you're tagging them with their pain points. Like the pain points and type of business thing is something that as a team, my team wasn't doing every single time, but now I'm like, okay, going forward, every time we add someone in, just take that extra step to track that information and it'll build out, a, it's a part they that will build out over time. This is so cool. Okay, show me what you wanted to show me because you have seven okay. minutes. I'm gonna be your, I'm gonna be your countdown for this wedding. <laughs> this is gonna like really freak you out. So if I go to, I'm gonna go to an old group just so you can see. No, you're good. Uh, Oh, no, I don't want to do an old group because it'll mess me up. Okay. If I go to, yeah, let's see what happens if I go to this old group, which this is a membership we used to have. We don't have it anymore. But if I go to the members here, I pull up all of these members, right? So sometimes you go into a group and you're like, oh, this is so awesome that I have hundreds of people in my group, but I know it's going to take me a while to get them all into the system. Yeah. Watch. I click this little guy. Wait, wait, wait. What did you click? I didn't see anything. Oh, sorry. It's the Chrome extension. So okay. you can't see it. The Chrome extension. I click it. Now check this. Do you see this pop-up over here? Yeah, I do see that. What does it say? 
It says add visible members, add all members. So I can add every single person from here who's not tracked into group track. Most of these people are because they're in our other groups, but it will automatically add all members from a group into your CRM at once. <laughs> now, I have a You've won! You've won the internet! This is second Christmas! Hey, hey! Legit! Legit! If, if you missed today's episode... Oh, man! You're missing out. Okay, so I have a big warning with this, though, because in our uh, main Facebook group, Live Video and Chat Bots for Entrepreneurs, in that group, we had about 7,000 people, and I forgot that I had that group, and I'll stop sharing now so I don't get excited. But I had that group specifically set to connect with ConvertKit so that when they entered their phone number, they were automatically sent an email. I mean, not phone number, sorry. When they entered their email address, they were automatically sent an email. Now, I also had gone through, I had my VA go through our entire camera confidence program and add everyone's email so that we had our current members, we had their emails in there. So when I went to Elevate Your Awesome and I added 7,000 people, it did 7,000 people. It was like the day before Thanksgiving, we were at an Airbnb and I was like, watch this. And I clicked the button. I also accidentally sent every member of camera confidence the welcome email with the video content planner. <laughs> Because I didn't realize it was that powerful. So I was like, oh, shoot. So just <laughs> because if you're going back in time and you have it connected, it's connected per group. It's not connected to everything. You can connect it individually for different groups to different forms and stuff. So just be careful when you're Got doing it. something like that. Here's a question from Joel who's saying, so does group chat connect to outside world CRM systems? Because there are some of us that aren't always doing our business on Facebook, we, we, you know, like LinkedIn, for example. Yeah. Um, so Zapier it, could probably do something, ways. right? Two ways. Yeah, okay, so go. automatically it will put everyone into a spreadsheet. And so from that Google sheet, you can set up any separate zap to connect with any tool anywhere. The uh, interesting thing is also one of the next, I believe, and if Jenna's here, she can correct me. I don't know. I, I literally messed up. I haven't seen her name pop up. Um, if you are... Uh, if you're using it, just know that soon, like one of the next changes they're going to be making is that you'll be able to import other contacts who are not on Facebook, which I think is going to be really powerful because then everybody can be in the same system. I like when I tie my hair back and be like, it's time to work. You guys, 2021 is just around the corner and it's time to do some work. Deb is asking, are there limits to tags? Um, no, and I will show you how I know is because when I connected ConvertKit. Because you look like you had a lot. <laughs> yeah. Every tag from ConvertKit, which is a million, came into my group track system. So they were all automatically imported. Try not to go too crazy, though, because otherwise it gets hard to manage. That is very cool. All right. Any other last minute questions that want to slide in? Again, if you are interested in group track, um, here it is. There it is, molly.live slash awesome. Yes, right there. Check it out. I know that I'm going to sign up and I'm already thinking about like ConvertKit. Just like you said, I have certain tags in there. I'm thinking about all the snippets and just wow. And so anyone, I can add team members into group track. Yeah, and you can add team members. And the way the pricing works is if you have up to a thousand uh, you a thousand contacts. It's a certain level, and you don't. There's not team members included up to a thousand contacts. But if you want to add team members on, and you have under a thousand contacts, it's just ten dollars per team member, which is awesome. And then from there, when it goes over, I think the next tier is five thousand, which is what I signed up for right away, and that included several, or maybe even unlimited team members. I can't remember, but it included several team members. So we have lots of team members in there. And you, and you can upgrade up anytime. Yeah. Okay. That's what I figured. I was like, why would they, why would they box you in? I mean, this is, how did you even find out about this? Oh, cause you're, she's your friend. You grew up yeah, with she's her. She's a member of our glam program. Yeah. And she was like, you know, I have this idea and I reached out to, I guess Nate used to be a client of hers and she, and he at first said, no, it's not possible. You can't do it. And then a couple of weeks later he came back and he was like, I built it. <laughs> you gotta love people like that where they're just like, yeah, you know, so 
it's been awesome. She has an amazing business where she helps people to put their systems together and really pull things out of their brain and make their businesses go forward because she's systematizing things. And so this has been such an awesome addition to it. It's so cool. Okay. Well, it's officially 1159. Okay, I'm Thank going you to a wedding. So much. Yes, go to the wedding and I will close this out for everyone else. You've been brilliant, my friend. I, mean, I absolutely you love you. On Clubhouse also. This is Oh we yeah. We so Clubhouse. Make sure yes. you're following us on Clubhouse too because it's been so fun over there. And it's at Molly Mahoney. Yeah. And at what's Stephanie yours? Lou. At Stephanie Lou. That you're really good at that. <laughs> All right, you do what you okay. got to do. I'll close bye. out the show for you. Okay, bye. Bye, girl. You are absolutely amazing. You too. I love you. Bye. <laughs> All right, everyone. So if you just enjoyed all of that please by all means go ahead and leave a comment let molly know how much you love and absolutely adore her because she just won the internet basically for me this was like second christmas she's absolutely amazing if you didn't check it out now this is her affiliate link molly.live slash awesome so go ahead and give her some love because it wasn't me that found it. It was her that found it. We were talking on Clubhouse and I was like, oh yeah, are you still using group funnels? And she was like, no, 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 no. Let me tell you about group track. And it was on a whole nother level as you saw. And so if you wanna learn more from her, please go ahead and show her some love. For those of you that still have questions, you know, I totally get it. How did she do that? How? How did she connect it to this CRM and templates? That's Molly Mahoney. She's magical. She's brilliant. And I want you to get to know her because she is such, such good vibes. So having said that, Let's go ahead and close this out. For everyone, thank you so much for joining us. It was absolutely a pleasure to have you here. And as always, every Lights Camera Live episode will be transcribed into a blog post. You could always find all of our guides at lightscameralive.com. We have everything there from Lights Camera Live as well as Digital Confetti, where we teach you all the different ways that you could repurpose your content. Thank you again so much <laughs> for hanging out and we absolutely appreciate you coming here. Yes, Marie Tahan Daniels, she was brilliant. If I don't see you, if I don't talk to you on social media until the new year, have a very, very happy new year. Be safe, be good to one another. I look forward to hopefully seeing you all in person anytime soon. If not, well, then I'll always still see you here at Lights Camera Live. Thanks friends, love you so much. Bye and take care. And oh, yeah, P.S. Shout out to Restream who powered this entire show. Let's show them some love, yeah? Your bridge to live streaming across all platforms has arrived. Restream takes care of the bandwidth and processing so you can focus on getting maximum visibility on your favorite platforms. To learn more, head on over to Restream.io. All right, friends. Bye for now. Take care.